What? Some video game news. Yes, I know God of War came out and everyone's excitedly playing that and I look forward to playing it perhaps this weekend. Although I do have a bit of a hard cap on allowing myself to buy additional video games until I've completed a, a certain number of my backlog games that are still brand new in the package and or sitting on Steam uninstalled. But uh, this article came across my desk as a fan. One of the few games that I just like always make sure I play is new Final Fantasy games. I didn't love the old one. I play Final Fantasy online, although I haven't been online in a little bit of a while. But uh, you could join the Quarter Pounders free company. Uh, I'd love to have you. But the latest, f the last Final Fantasy felt a little bit like a boy band thing. I didn't really care for it. But there is a new Final Fantasy 16 in development, and apparently it's canceled because it's too white. I'm not kidding. This is a real article. Before we get the, into that, I just want to shout out this video sponsor, Meta PCs. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Meta PCs. Look, you've been around, you know that I've been talking about Meta PCs for a very long time. In fact, it's the primary computer I use, but it's not just because they're a sponsor. It's for so many more reasons. They have fully customizable, configurable PCs and all the hardest to find parts in stock and ready to go. They also have ready to ship PCs ready for you today. Here's a couple of reasons why I like Meta PCs. First and foremost, it's veteran ownership. Meta PCs is a veteran owned business. One of Meta's owners has served both in Afghanistan and Iraq and received a Purple Heart for his service. Meta also employs military veterans in Meta's operations center and also provides systems to veterans going back to school to help them re-enter the workforce all across the United States. They offer financing. It has 100% US based sales and support and when you receive your PC, it's ready to go right out of the box. You don't have to get complicated and set things up. You just plug it all in and you're ready to rock. And on top of that, Meta PCs is offering you, my viewer, a huge discount when you use the link in the description or you use promo code THEQUARTERING. If you use my code at checkout, not only do you save money, but you support my content and a company that will not bow to cancel culture. So maybe you're not ready to pick up a new computer today, but when you are, remember to go to metapcs.com and use promo code THEQUARTERING to support me and to save money. And everybody wins. So this article in Kraptaku, I mean Kotaku, Final Fantasy 16 Death is a terrible answer for why the game is so white. As we know, game developers uh, see whiteness as a problem as a sign of oppression because they're all mad at their fathers. Uh, Naoki Yoshida feels that racial diversity would be a violation of narrative boundaries. What? You know, these same authors, these same journals weren't whining about why Squid Game was so Korean. You know, I mean, uh, for whatever reason, it's only a problem when there's quote unquote too many white people. I don't know how many white people are enough white people or how many white people are too many. I assume more than one is too many, and uh, I don't really know. Two weeks ago, Square Enix released a new story trailer for the upcoming RPG Final Fantasy 16. probably the only reason I bought the PlayStation 5. There's, uh, that's my anecdote. There's just one noticeable problem. There doesn't seem to be a single non-white character in it. So IGN asked pro uh, producer Naoki Yoshida about whether or not the game would feature any black people or other people of color. Unfortunately, his response made me go yikes in real life. Yoshida explained that the fantasy world of Valisthea, I'm probably mispronouncing that, was based on medieval Europe, and they wanted to limit the world culturally and geographically. The place was never going to be realistically as diverse as modern-day Earth or even Final Fantasy 14, he said, as if he was being asked to incorporate every race in the planet. Yeah, was it too much? Looks like he ignored the, uh, he stood fast against the reimagining. So, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Rip headphone users. <laughs> uh, it, 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 it looks like he, uh, he, he refused uh, to reimagine the game. Uh, incorporating ethnic diversity into the town was important, and over incorporation into one single corner of a much larger world could end up causing violation of those narrative boundaries we originally set for ourselves. So essentially what they're saying is, now again, let's just replace white with Asian. Shout out to all my Asian viewers. 
But uh, unfortunately, I'm going to use you as an example here. I'm going to use you as a bit of a shield. If the author had said this, this, um, this, this story was based in Malaysia, or th- or this story was based in Japan or or China, and so uh, and at the time there weren't a lot of whatever, whatever I- immigrants and this and that, um, and so we kept it true to the story. Or how about um, how w- w- why aren't there enough white people in Wakanda? You know what I mean? Like if you switch any other race with white, it sounds absurd. Uh, why is there no white people in uh, the black ethno state known as Wakanda? Which begs the question, why did they enforce a whites only boundary in the first place? I suspect this game will be the best selling of all time. I just, you know, the more journals rage about particular video games, the more that uh, people want to buy it. And it'll have nothing to do with it being too many white people. It'll be everything to do with owning the uh, ruling class, which is, you know, a lot of what you see with, you know, the Twitter stuff. You know, with Twitter, uh, you know, the removal of the plebeian or allowing the plebes to get their check marks. After acknowledging that the real world is more diverse in this town, he continued, the story we are telling is fantasy, yes, but it's also rooted in reality. Which is it, Yoshida? You can't say that your fictional world isn't bound to reality and then use it to reality to explain why black people can't exist. Pick a struggle and stick with it, please. Do you, do you, must you see yourself in every game for you to enjoy it? I don't. To be honest with you, I, I've never really felt that way, but I guess that's my whiteness speaking. What's really frustrating about all this is that black and brown people have always existed in medieval Europe. If the creative leadership had done more research or checked their biases, they might have noticed that black people have been living in Britain for 2,000 years, or some black Europeans were canonized in the Holy Roman Empire, or realized that Iberia was under Islamic rule for almost 500 years. Instead of a realistic imagining of medieval Europe, we got Final Fantasy 16 and said, I can feel your urge to pre-order Rising. I emailed Square Enix to ask how they decided on whether or not a story element violated the de- developer's narrative boundaries, and I'll let you know once I've gotten a response. Oh, cope and seethe. It's like, look, I don't view I don't view this as like say white people video games. Uh it's because I think that's cringe. It's like the same people if if black folks think that Wakanda Forever is a is black cinema and that it should it's exclusively for black people. That's cringe and stupid too. If you enjoy a movie, it shouldn't matter what the skin color of the actors and actresses are in it. Now, if you're telling me that a movie is like you know realistically you know telling the realistic you know uh a real true event or whatever, it may appeal to one group of people more than the other. But even that doesn't necessarily limit it to such. I just rewatched the trailer and the one embedded above, I saw a giant winged lady throw ice shards. Apparently that's not too over the top fantasy realism, but bringing in real people from different reason, re- races is a step too far. By the way, Final Fantasy has always been pretty diverse. Um, you know, in Final Fantasy 7, you're like playing a, a eco Terry uh, and you have a pretty diverse team. And Final Fantasy 14 is super diverse. It's like, why are you picking on picking on this one thing? It's like, I, 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 I look forward to the time, the day when all these idiots have zero power at all, and it's getting close to that. So why did the developers decide to only include white characters in the trailer? Yoshida had an answer that sounds entirely like a non-answer. I cannot, or it can be challenging to assign distinctive ethnicities to either antagonists or protagonists without triggering audience preconceptions, inviting unwarranted speculation, and ultimately stoking the flames of controversy. I believe that the developers, you could tell I'm reading it in their name and their voice, can overcome that challenge without blowing up the internet. If a AAA blockbuster God of War Ragnarok can feature a black character as its main character in Norse mythology, then a totally made up world can do the same. That's true. But it's an artistic choice, right? If they had made Final Fantasy all black, would you be complaining? No. We know that. 
The new quotes will make me feel very cynical about Yoshida's comments from a previous interview. In August, he said that he wanted to revitalize the Final Fantasy series, which had become Meyer in its own long-standing tradition. In terms of whether Final Fantasy uh, is successfully adapting to industry trends, I believe the series is currently struggling. Don't care. I mean, I think the series is struggling um, probably in different ways. But, uh, you know, I'm 100% down with uh, buying this game. I was going to always buy it anyway. But, uh, yeah, cope and see. Also, I can't get a, can brother get a new Dragon Quest game? What's going on with the Dragon Quest series? Can I get a new Dragon Quest game? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like on it. Make sure you click that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you again real soon.